All right, guys. Uh, I am servicing a Kenwood 570. And uh, when I say service, basically what, it, what has happened is the VFO knob, or the tuning knob, I should say, has uh, gotten very loose and wobbly. And uh, I've decided today is the day to uh, fix that. So uh, I'm going to walk you through that process sort of in reverse now because I have uh, gotten down to the inner parts here. And... Uh, so in reverse order, I'll show you how this is done. <clears throat> but essentially what you're gonna to need to do is get this front front face plate off. I've removed the covers too. And while the cover's open, you can see the filters and stuff, the board. But I'm wanting to get the front, uh, front face plate off. So there's two uh, gold screws on the left, two on the right. <clears throat> and those will detach this metal frame here. <clears throat> Once you've taken that off, uh, inside here are a number of wires and cable ribbon cables and stuff. <clears throat> you can disconnect them. They're different sizes, so it doesn't matter. They'll only go back one way. It's pretty simple. This is what we're trying to get at here. Uh, so basically, when you spin that, the frequency changes and so forth. And here's that control. Well, that has a, a nut on it that, has, that comes loose. And you can take an 11 millimeter like this and tighten it down and it'll stabilize your knob. Uh, but to get to this now, so you remove the two screws on each side, you're also going to have to re remove the ring, the inner ring and outer ring, locking ring, and you can just do that with a, you can just reach in with something and tap it gently and remove the ring for the mic port remove the rings both inner and outer here <clears throat> for all your knobs you'll have your knobs removed here's the, my knobs laid over here uh in configuration to put back install and the locking nuts or the little nuts i should say and they've been removed there is a locking pin here that is removed and that's just turned and it comes off Ultimately, what you're wanting to do is you need to get this black metal piece that has some clips on the top and the bottom. Be easy with these. But you need to get it removed from this inner metal piece. So let's go through the process. The two screws here, the two screws here, the three locking, the three screws here, the three here. Remove this ring and the screw here remove the two rings here. Once you've done that, then you can take this, these clips and raise the clips on top and bottom and separate the two. And I've already done that. Once you've done that, then you can access the ring here and tighten it down. And I've done that part. So you can see that this is, since I've taken the screws out, this part literally will lift out. So, I'm gonna insert it back in, and you can follow with me now as I reinstall this. Now, if you had to remove this inner board for some reason, say you were gonna change the lighting or something, there are four screws here. There are little gold screws that you could remove to help you to remove this inner board here. And like I said, there's a, a ring on this that keeps this secure and tight. Here's a ribbon cable, here's, here's a couple plugs. Like I said, they're all different sizes, so you're not gonna have to worry about mixing them up. Just to put them, be, be sure when you reinstall that you reassemble each. So this is my final one. I'm gonna insert it now, put it back here. And, uh, and I'm gonna double check myself. So my ribbon is in, seated. The cables are all connected here, here, yes, okay. And so now I'm going to start this process by gently lifting this up. And I'm gonna start reatta reattaching the side here. And so these are very tiny screws. So I'm gonna let, put one side on here. Come back with the other side. And needless to say, uh, make sure that you're 
very conscious you're on a static mat uh, or you take whatever means is necessary to protect for any static discharge so if you're sitting on a static mat no you could do a wrist static strap also all right but you're working with electronics so all right okay all right so now essentially we have been able to re-establish the face plate now i can begin the process of reassembling my and here they are they're going to hold these in place so i need to get them started here and it's again it's just an 11 millimeter so i need to get them reattached so i'm going to pull this out as a and these are just hand tightened there's nothing uh, extraordinary out of these just get them started and tighten should be good to go all right there's one all right Here comes two That's two, and then let's get the third one. Mm -hmm. Now, like I say, this is 11 millimeter, I believe is the size of this, and it will fit all of these as well as the tuning knob. And we're just hand tightening. No need to over tighten these things. Right. Oops, didn't get that far enough in. Okay. Let me see if I've got that. Oops, yeah, there always got to be one. And I've got to get the other end. Let me get started. and again just hand tighten it okay now i'm going to move over to these two and these are gold so i'm going to get them started and right, i'm going to pause the camera so i don't bore you and we'll come back and patch this together okay now so continuing with this reinstallation of this front cover now let's take a look now you can see now i've inset each of the nuts and i've used my 11 millimeter here to basically tighten them down hand tighten them uh, now over here on the uh, mic port i've inserted a ring and now make sure when you put this back in that you put those uh see those little slots there make sure they're facing out so that you can reach in with like a jeweler or screwdriver or something and and kind of uh, hand tighten that ring in there. Uh, so you can see, I'm just gonna use my, this small screwdriver to spin that ring. And uh, once I get it seated, you just need something very tiny to reach in and just tighten it. So here we go. Okay, so you can see all right so just tighten that you could tap it probably once all right and then you need to put this screw back in here and now we need to put this back in it's pretty straightforward this little spring clip because it'll line up and then it'll lock in place all right and so that's the way it sits then when you open it you open this and you're able to get to the screw so this is the way it sits okay now, let's go back. And again, like I said, make sure that you use static protection. Uh, all right. 
So, while I was here, I replaced that battery, which when you remove this faceplate, uh, the battery is sitting there facing you. It's a 2032. And uh, go ahead, while you're there, you might as well replace your battery. There's the old one. So I went ahead and inserted a new one. Okay, now I'm ready to reinsert my knob. So I'm gonna put it on now. You'll notice it has a uh, set screw. And here's my little Allen. And I'm just gonna reach in there now and tighten that down, that Allen, uh, to hold that knob in place. So. Uh, it's hard to hold this and do it at the same time. So let me, excuse me, let me at least get it to the point where I can let go. All right. Now it's it's much more firm. It's that, that, all that wobbly that I had now is gone. And that was that was the intent of this to basically get in there and tighten that down because it was getting now to where that was a lot of slack in it and so forth so it's back firm okay now the last step is going to be to reinsert my knobs basically close the radio up and it's a done deal so and uh you the knobs only go on a certain way so just make sure you reinsert them correctly like i said i have them laid out here and so there are two piece and this would be my top one so i'll insert the back piece then come in and insert the top piece and if you look and or fail you'll see the ridge and then you can look at the insert and you'll see you'll know that it the direction it needs to go so like this one is going to have to go somewhat like this angle in order to snap on there so just pay attention when you're doing that Put them back on, put your covers back on, you're done. So that's all it is to it. Uh, hopefully this is helpful. This is a good little radio, these 570s. I know they got some age on them, but a lot of people use them for for voice and, and for FT8 and stuff like that. So great little radio. So hopefully this is helpful. 73, until next time. All right, I'm just doing a quick test now after that uh, work, and uh, all I gotta do is plug in my mic and get it set back in the shack here. Uh, but everything's working great. Boy, this is what a difference now in tuning. Eliminated all together all that wobbling that I had now, so took care of that issue. But anyway, hopefully you, this comes in helpful. If you ever have this issue, it applies for most of all of us that use these old tuning dials. They get loose over time, a lot of them. So, all right, guys, 73, and we'll talk to you on there. Be safe.